Number 1. As at Pizza West. Stopped in for lunch at 11.30 a.m. on a Monday, and the place was already busy. The employees at this location are always extremely friendly. You can tell they enjoy working here. On this visit I enjoyed a usual, build your own favorite. It was delicious as usual. I look forward to see the newly expanded store on my next visit. Number 2. Zesto. In the past, I have always enjoyed a destination trip to the Zesto. On this particular visit it is as a letdown. My jumbo cheeseburger was overcooked, as were about one half of my fries. Unfortunately. Number 3. Chick-fil-A. What a horrible experience. Paid an astronomical price for two sandwiches and when we opened the box to eat, there were no buns on either sandwich. How do you expect us to eat a sandwich without a bun? Number 4. Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Vegas. On this day Freddy's was my third attempt to have a dine and lunch experience. First Taco Bell, and then Burger King. Neither are offering dine-in service. Thankfully Freddy's is open for dine-in. Number 5. Arby's. The employees working were friendly. My food came up quickly, and it tasted good, all positives. Unfortunately, the dining area in the restaurant is in dire need of a deep cleaning or flat out being replaced. Number 6. Culver's. Dined here on a Tuesday afternoon with a high school friend. It was just after 1 p.m. and the lunch rush wasn't so bad. The young man who took our order was exceptionally polite and friendly. Our orders were served quickly on this visit. Number 7. Wayback Burgers. I stopped there one evening for dinner. I have never been to this particular chain before. I was totally impressed the two gentlemen who were working were more than gracious and took very good care of me and my order. Number 8. Five Guys. Dined here on a weeknight after leaving the Hobby Lobby. Enjoyed a cheeseburger but a large order of their delicious Cajun fries. When they say a large order they mean it. It was an excellent burger and fries experience. Number 9. Subway. A typical Subway with the regular food. Staff verbalized they wished they had no customers, because all the cars were at the Chinese restaurant next door. When asked for a senior discount, they didn't know if there was one or not. Oh well. Number 10. G.D. Ritzy's. We used to have G.D. Ritzy's in my hometown when growing up and it has been years since I have seen one. It was just as I remembered. Burgers were so good. Crispy on the edges like they used to be. Shoestring fries were crispy and hot. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.